I know some of y'all mad at me, but get in here, get in here, get in here. We can have a talk. I'm grown enough to talk. Okay, y'all get in here, get in here, get in here. Because basically, um, the video just came out. Some of y'all watched it already. A lot of y'all gave y'all's opinion on it. But some of y'all were very vocal about the fact that you all were upset with me. Some of y'all, not everybody, I'm going to say that, not everybody was upset with me about the fact that I asked Marco if he was willing to have a conversation with the gentleman who I had a date with who was rude to Marco. I'm very rude to Marco. Um, and the sentiment that I've been getting so far, get in here, get in here, click like and click share, tag any other MJ Harris viewers. Um, Victor Johnson said, I swear I was waiting, baby. We're going to address it. I'm big and grown, honey. I'm big and grown. If I'm going to live my life on camera, honey, I'm big and grown enough to, to, to talk about the good, the bad, the ugly, and have a conversation. So listen, we're going to have a real grown folks talk about this, okay? So backstory in case you don't know, introduce Marco to a gentleman I've been getting to know. Terrible interaction. Terrible interaction. Dude came on heavy, overly aggressive craziness. Marco handled himself extremely well. Extremely well. I froze. It was what it was. He reached out to me. The gentleman reached out to me. Hey, I like to talk to Marco. I like to apologize to him. I already told him I'm not dating him no more. That was clear, right? He said, cool. But as a grown man, I want to talk to him man to man. Asked Marco, was he cool with it? Marco at first said no. Then Marco came to me, came to me later on and said, no, I am willing to talk to him. Right? I said, okay, cool. Predicting that Marco could change his mind. Right? I said, well, at the time that he calls, if you want to talk, talk. If you don't, you don't have to. But since you're telling me you want to talk for now, I'll let him know that you want to talk. Listen. So... Told him that he was that Marco's willing to talk. He calls. Y'all see it. As soon as I come in the room, hey Marco, he's on the phone. Do you want to talk? And that's why I asked for confirmation. Cause that's what our agreement was. Is if you change your mind, you can change your mind. He said, Cool. I hand him the phone. They get to talking. Right? Now here's the thing. Okay. I know y'all love me. Okay. But you know who I love? I love Marco. Okay. That's my baby boy. Okay, I always say I got the blessing of becoming a parent without having to deal with dirty diapers, you know. But I know him inside now. And let me tell you this. Y'all see him in his business attire and his business stuff, very positive and everything like that. But baby, that's, that's a man. He pops off. Okay, he can pop, pop off. Okay, that's the good thing about that box and gives him some place to channel his energy into. So as I saw him on the phone, I sat right there. So I wasn't planning to be in the room at all when they were talking. But I was like, no, nah, I need to sit right here because I know how Marco can be. And I know how the old boy can be too, right? So they go in there. I saw Marco escalating and everything like that. And I will tell you this. The reason why I pushed Marco to get back on the phone with him after Marco walked out the room himself. Why I said, you should talk to him again. I'm going to own it. I'm going to own it 100%. Because I feel like as a parent, I was trying to correct in Marco something that I felt that took me too long to correct. Which was allowing people to apologize to me rather I forgave them or not. Let me tell you this, okay? I've never been a vengeful person by any stretch of the imagination. But I've been someone who's not. If, if Calling me forgiving would never have been a way that you would describe me in the past. At all. And if you honest with yourself, you'll be able to talk to people and say, yeah, I get you. I get you. Thank you. Sylvia Cox says, I'm not mad, MJ. I love you, MJ. I love you too, darling. But let me tell you this, okay? If you hurt me, baby, I gave you one time to hurt me, okay? Because you have to understand, I went through a lot of things in my life. And so I got hurt real deep. And so for me, like a lot of people who've been hurt and traumatized, we think that the way not to be hurt is by not forgiving and not hearing people out. When the reality is the way to, the way to avoid being hurt is by learning yourself better, trusting your instincts so you can avoid certain situations once you see signs, which is what I did because I ended it after I saw what was going on in that situation. But nonetheless, that wasn't a skill set that I learned very early in my life. Okay, I'm 37. To be quite honest, I really didn't learn that skill set until about 35. Which is to let people apologize. I mean, if you hurt me before, let me tell you this. I was the queen of block and delete. I got a whole video out, which the name of the video out, Google it. Block and delete equals peace. That was the name of the video, y'all. Block and delete equals peace. I remember I was sitting on my mother's sofa when I did that video. Okay? 
Let me tell you this. That was my mindset. You hurt me, block and delete equals peace for me. But here's what it didn't do. It didn't evolve me. It didn't heal me. It simply removed the thing that was hurting me from my, from my purview so I didn't have to see it. But what it didn't do was teach me how to truly forgive. And I'm going to tell you this right now. Forgiveness is not about letting somebody it back in. Forgiveness is not about saying that, you're, that the way you hurt me didn't matter. Forgiveness and just hearing someone out is about saying, I'm going to give myself the cathartic experience of being able to hear you out. Because here's what happens when you allow yourself to hear somebody out. It allows you to humanize that person. To be able to first determine, is this person sincere or not? And that's what I wanted Mark to be able to hear. Y'all got to hear it too. I wanted Mark to be able to hear him out. Because at the end of the day, it's not for me to decide if the man was being sincere. It's up to Marco. So Marco could have very well heard that whole conversation and said, no, he's not being sincere. I don't, sincere, I don't want to forgive him. Or he could have heard the whole conversation and said, you know what? I hear him. I understand it. I forgive him. I don't want to be around him, but I forgive him. I wanted him to have the experience that I've not allowed myself to have so many times in my life. Which is that the minute that you hurt me, I throw you out. Even if I don't want to deal with you no more in a certain capacity, I act like you don't exist. I know that social media will teach you that somehow or another cutting off all interactions or, or acting like someone doesn't exist somehow or another is a path to healing, but that truly isn't. What that does for you is that keeps you stuck in the pain. And what it does for you is it trains your mind, because I'm telling you it happened to me. It trains your mind to believe that people are highly disposable anytime that they hurt you. And my perspective is this, when people show you who they are, believe them, believe them, but that doesn't mean you need to treat them like they don't exist. Give yourself the opportunity to be, to be apologized to. Do you believe the apology? That's up to you. Do you truly want to forgive them? That's up to you. Do you have to let that person back in? That's up to you. That's not something I'm choosing to do. Right? But at the end of the day, give yourself the opportunity to at least be apologized to. Because you deserve that. And so for me as a parent, I think as a parent, we often are teaching lessons based on what we think our children need to know. But also we teach our children lessons based on what we fail to learn. And so that's what I was trying to do. I was not trying to force Marco to forgive. I was not trying to use this as a ruse to get Marco back around him so I could get so I can get, have be in that man's arms. That wasn't what this is about for me. Not at all. That's your narrative. Let me tell you what my narrative is. I'm concerned with this young man right here, right here. Right here. I'm concerned with this young man right here. He's saying, he's like, I, he's like, right, I'm going to sit here and listen. Well, I'm concerned with this young man. You know what? I, I'm like, I understand why you wanted me to hear him out. Yeah. I do. You know, mm -hmm. I understand why you wanted me, you know, to hear him out. Mm -hmm. But I still want to box. <laughs> I still want to box. Boy, bye. That's on them. That's on them. My bottom line is this. I'm going to turn it back to you. I wanted you to at least hear the man out. Because as a man, let people say their part and apologize to you. Hearing them out don't mean you letting them back in. Hearing them out don't mean you weak. Hearing them out don't mean nothing but that you're willing to hear them out. Because at some point in your life, if you live long enough, you will be in the, in the position of having to apologize to somebody for yeah. something. And when that time comes, if you choose to apologize, whether you're sincere or not about it, you're going to want to be heard out too. That's my only thing. That's my only thing. If you haven't seen the video, go watch it. You maintain the opinion you want to have. I'm just telling you my perspective on why I did what I did as a parent. Do we always get it right or wrong? I don't know. I don't, I don't know. But I'll say this. One of the things I will say is being your parenting you has definitely made me more empathetic towards even my own mother and father. Because the reality is I didn't always understand why they did what they did in some circumstances. But now I look back and I say they did the best they could based on that moment. And it was their intention that I have to focus on. And as parents right now, y'all, some of y'all can understand exactly where I'm coming from. You're doing the best you can day by day. Rather, the people around you agree, disagree, or understand. At the end of the day, it's all about your bond with your child. And you make the best decisions that you can. Right? And that's what it is. I love y'all. I know y'all love me. But I said I always wanted to come on here because we have a very clear relationship. And I wanted to make sure I spoke directly to y'all about this. Y'all have a good one. Bye.